Don't try this at home, by the way. This is kind of going to be a fun video today because I got this little bad boy right here. Yep, it's a Variac. And this just ain't any old uh, standard run of the mill Variac. This is thing actually came out of a heavy duty piece of equipment. I can't say where it came from, but it's made by General Radio and it will handle 20 amps at 120 volts. So this is kind of in photonic induction territory as far as uh, power goes here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this bad boy up and we're going to have some fun with it. Okay, so we are ready to fire up the Variac. Yes, I have it mounted in a flammable cardboard box, but I really don't care. Uh, fire extinguisher is right outside my door if I need it, and I have the sink and the sprayer that I can carry this thing over to. I've verified that the wiring uh, is proper and uh, everything, but when I did a uh, continuity check on it, it only gave me like half ohm resistance, so I'm a little nervous plugging this in because I've never done this before. So let's see what it does here. I kicked up the circuit breaker. <laughs> At least I know it works. Okay, this one tripped. It's only a 15. Let's see what it does. It kicks out as soon. The breaker is kicking out as soon as I uh, as I as I flip it in. Let's try this. That was weird. When I had it at zero, I wonder if it was. I wonder if I had a, If I've got a ground problem with it, that it's grounding up when it hits zero. Because now, it's working. You see the uh, the voltage thing going up. So it is wired, right, but it kicked out the circuit breaker for some reason. So I bet if I kick it down to zero, it's not going to short it out. No, there's no short. It just can't handle the inrush current from having to uh, excite uh, the single winding because of the resistance that's being so low. I think because the wiring is so close to the uh, power panel in my apartment that the, uh, the circuit breaker is seeing uh, the low resistance as inrush as being an actual dead short. Could be vacuum. That's 120. Let's overdrive it.
So that's a, uh, a successful functionality test. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's play How Low Can It Go? That's 110. The display is starting to dim. That's 100. Ninety. Eighty. Seventy. It just dims out. No, well, we still got uh, we still got juice. Let's go down to sixty. Let's do fifty. 40 well, It's still coming up Even if I overdrive it a little bit, let's do 30 Actually I get uh, 17 Okay, that made it reset So let's do 30 and see if that makes it reset So yeah, about 30 volts it resets. Let's do the let's do the uh, my George Foreman here. You can see it blinking; it's forming up. Again, remember this variac is meant for 20 amps. So, oh, and it's sucking power. I can feel it buzzing. So we're down to 90 volts. 80. 75, 70, 60, 60. Display is starting to flash. I'm down to 45 and this thing's still turned on. 30, 25. Okay, I shut off at about 25 volts. Television set time. That's fully overdriven. That's normal voltage. Thing's starting to suck a lot of power. Okay, the picture's starting to collapse now. So yeah, we're at the 30 point on the dial. I buy it 70 volts.
Up. It's having a hard time with the motor there. Well, we've had a little fun today, so I'm going to unplug the device. Prawns on the cord aren't even warm. Just a little bit of warmth to it. So that's going to be So that's going to be my video for today. Uh Don't try this at home by the way. And I thank you all for watching this. Please like, comment and subscribe.